All right, guys, it's that time of month again, and we're going to be talking about my pocket check. Now, a few things have changed since the last one, so I figured it would be worth updating this, going over it, talking about some of the different options I'm rolling through with my EDC in February. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump into it. All right, so first off, as is tradition, we're going to talk about the tech. So for the tech, not too much has actually changed. Still running the Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max in the really cool blue colorway. And of course, still running Apple AirPod Pros. So those two haven't changed too much. However, just like many fellow YouTubes, just like many fellow YouTubers, I have changed over to an Apple uh, Watch Ultra or Apple Watch, Apple, Watch Ultra, I think is what it's called. I can't really remember, but it is an Apple Ultra and it is a watch. So anyways, I went over to this watch predominantly because of where I work. I work um, 12 hour shifts and my last watch was not really lasting my entire shifts. So I wanted to get something that had a much greater battery life. Also, I really like the capabilities that this watch has on board as far as apps, tracking, and different systems. And of course, being made out of titanium, uh, sapphire, and ceramic on the back, it is far, far more durable. My last one, you guys could probably tell, was absolutely scratched to death. And while it still functions, I did want to get something that was just a little bit better and a little bit more conducive to my lifestyle. So anyways, that is the Apple Ultra Watch, iPhone 12 Pro Max, and Apple AirPod Pros. Okay, let's jump over to the next. All right, so next up is going to be kind of just the generalized tools and EDC stuff that I like to carry that makes my life easier and just in general helps with preparedness. So first off, I've been rotating between the E35 by Phoenix and the LD30 also by Phoenix. And I really do like the LD30 quite a bit more, but I like both of them and they both have their times and places. So as far as flashlights go, that's what I've been running. Next to those, I usually carry these two pieces of titanium. So this is a Smooth Precision V2.1. And of course, this is essentially their tie bolt and it is just super smooth, super clean, and just a really nice pen to write with. So then, of course, I actually get a lot of questions about this little guy right here. This little titanium pry bar is a, of course, titanium pry bar I got off of Amazon. It is just a generic, um, like, Chinese-made one, but I find that it works for me, and I actually really like the ergonomics. I like the jimping on this um, little bit here, and it helps with the bottle opener. So anyways, that is this little piece of titanium, just really ergonomic. Also like the jimping right here. Uh, it gives you really good traction if you do decide to use that pry bar tip. So anyways, I've been carrying that for a little while, nothing too new or crazy. So aside from those, I carry of course my good old fashioned Zippo lighter, just a brushed satin, and I uh, have this thing literally forever. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next one up is the Burt's Bees. Uh, next one up is the Burt's Bees Chapstick. This is just vanilla bean. I think it smells really good. I like it, so that's why it's there. All right, last two are going to be my Open Seas Top Cider. This, of course, is the Quick Draw, so it has the card holder in the back, as you guys can see there. And, of course, it's just a standard Top Cider wallet. So, yeah, looks good. I love Top Ciders. They're really one of my favorite wallets, so that's why it's there. Then, of course, I have my Truck Keys Auto Start and Little Doohickey on my key fob for any time that I need that. So anyways, that is that. And of course, this key fob is worth mentioning. It is a black ember quick release. So in case you missed the last month's pocket check, that is this guy. I really like it. I honestly like to talk about it because it's super convenient. I do use this function quite a bit. So anyways, that is the kind of EDC tools, if you will. Now it is knife time, which is probably everyone's favorite time. But before we talk about these two blades, we're gonna talk about the multi-tool, of course. All right, so this is the multi-tool for the month and basically for a very long time. This is the Leatherman Charge Plus, of course, in the Earth G10 model. Now these have been since discontinued. I have heavily recommended everyone who I can 
retail to buy one before they got discontinued. But now these things are ridiculously expensive on eBay especially. However, that doesn't change it. I still absolutely love this guy, as you guys can tell. It has quite a bit of use on it, and it is just really my favorite uh, version of this multi-tool. I'm still kind of mesmerized to this day why Leatherman doesn't have a running G10 multi-tool of some sort in their lineup, but for now, this limited edition has to, will have to do, at least for me. So anyways, this is, like I said, my Leatherman Charge Plus with the Earth G10. So awesome multi-tool. Like I said, blows me away that it isn't more popular and that it didn't really catch on that much because I think it's really cool. But anyways, okay, now into the actual blades. So for me, I've been on a little bit of a Warncliffe kick here of late, as you guys could probably tell by the content. So of course, the two primary EDC knives have been, of course, naturally worn cliffs. So these two are have been my go-tos. This one, of course, is the Hogue Deca. So you guys have probably seen a lot of the Hogue Deca. And while I'm not honestly the largest fan of its thin blade profile, it is super, super awesome to deploy. Deploys just like a Benchmade, honestly, and uh, very hard, very nice, very clean. And of course, it has a very nice magna cut edge on it. I actually took this from factory, put it on my Wicked Edge and uh, polished it up so it's a little bit more clean um, than factory, but honestly, it is just fine. And I love the kind of compound grind that it has. I think it just looks good overall, especially from the side. I really like the Deca. Some people complain about the handle. The handle is kind of slick, but uh, it is really lightweight and very thin. So I think for the purpose of this knife, it suits it very well. Anyways, that is the Ho Deca. Of course, the other one is my custom Gavco Nurse. And once again, it is also a Warncliffe. And of course, I really love carrying this guy. It is such an awesome knife, such a beauty. And it is just a fantastic knife and works honestly really well. I mean, obviously it works like a knife, so it cuts very well, but uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. I love looking at it. I love playing with it and yeah, it's cool. So anyways, those have been my two primary go-tos for this month and going into this month. Um, really, I do love Warren Cliffs, and actually, I don't really know why I haven't had more Warren Cliffs here of late. Like, uh, you know, like in my collection as a whole, I have so many different things, especially wacky, you know, like edges and stuff. But uh, Warren Cliffs are really cool. So, anyways. There you go. Last up and finally is the gun. Now, personally, I keep going back back and forth between my Glock 19 that's customized and this FN 509C tactical, of course, because that's the third of barrel optics cut and all that stuff. But anyways, I really like the small profile and easy carry that the FN 509C offers. But at the same time, too, I'm also a pretty big Glock fan person, so I really tend to like my Glocks. I tend to like how they set up, how they feel in hand, and their shootability. Though I will say the FN 509C is remarkably shootable. Um, like it's pretty soft recoiling, I should say, for what it is and for how small it is. But anyways, that point aside, I pulled out the FN 509C here because it's a little bit different. I see, or I feel like you guys see a lot of the Glock 19. So I was like, you know what? I'll throw this guy in here because it's a little bit different. But uh, yeah, so ultimately um, that's what I carry or that's kind of been my go-to. Of course, I have a Viper Vortex um, or Vortex Viper, sorry, um, mounted on top of here. And yeah, so that's pretty much the setup for the handgun. But uh, yeah, that is basically the EDC pocket check, everything that is in the pockets or on the waistband for the month of February. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.